Okay, my process is just uh, a lot of the process is already completed before you start making the art. A lot of it is building up to make that to make that art, and then once you do make the art, then you can look back in hindsight and say, "Oh, that was the process." But but other than other than the title, primarily the the subject matter of the piece isn't really discussed internally or anything like that. I just start drawing and trying to have fun with it. Typically, the name will come before the actual piece of art. And so I'll have a little bit of a fr a little bit of a framework to work with, uh -huh. and then I just start uh, drawing. And I, I, I typically I'll start anywhere on the page. Uh, there's not a uni one uniform way to do it, um, but the process is is what makes it so so fun. And it's it's just a random assemblage of w lines and shapes and figures, and it just it, uh, it it's just it's just an interesting way to go about doodling on a large scale. Um, a lot of the text that you'll see in my pieces comes from, stems from um, what, whatever I might be going through, or a lot of that stuff is tongue-in-cheek humor too, so you can't take anything too seriously. Yeah. I, I do compare it to like freestyle rap or improvisational jazz and things like that, where it just kind of takes a life on its own, and, it, and it, you know, once you reach the des destination, you can look back and say, wow, that was really cool. You know? I, my studio is in my home, and so the studio is in the basement, and, it's, uh, and I've got a record player and a CD player and a tape player, and I just keep, keep drawing and keep playing tunes on the radio until I get bored. Um, I do enjoy drawing, but not always to the same extent. Um, it, 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 you know, it's just like anything else. You have good days and you have bad days. And so, but typically when I'm drawing, I'll work for three or four hours a day, and that'll be a good day's work. Um, as far as like, you know, drawing for 12, 14 hours a day, it just it hasn't been able to work out for me. Um, my emotions do come into play a lot. I mean, a lot. I mean, that's where it stems from. But I try and I try and um, just keep everything grounded and balanced. And, as far as art, I was never really big into art until I started drawing, mm -hmm. and then I then I was able to look back and say, oh, I I could have been influenced by that or that or that. Manner. I've never looked upon art as a therapeutic manner mm -hmm. until about six years ago when I started an art program at the homeless shelter, mm -hmm. and I saw the effect it had on people and about on the kids that were living there, and I thought, well, this is great. As opposed, but but thinking about it as therapeutic to myself, I've never really thought of that. But I just try and remain unique and try and remain solid and, um, you know, as long as you're having fun, it doesn't hurt anybody, so. What do I, what would I like the audience to get out of it? Um, I'd like them to see the value that, that original art has. As, as far as respond, responding to it on an emotional level, there's a, I did an art, uh, an artist talk here at Gallery 72 months back and we did an artist talk and the guy asked me some you know questions like what's what is that what's the deeper meaning of this and that and I just really I, I just thought well that's I think that's more for the viewer to discern than than for me I mean the real the real the rewarding part of it for me is a creation and then the and then the um, you know the the pat on the back that you get for doing something that enables you to do hard work <laughs>